Hello Floss Tube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ashcraft. If you are new here, you can find me on Instagram at that same name. I will leave everything linked and spelled down below in the description box. Although I will tell you, I haven't posted anything on Instagram since Christmas, but I'm just slacking. <laughs> um, today I am bringing you an unboxing of the Black Needle Society's uh, I don't know what the actual name of this is, but it is the next monthly box. It is March's box and the theme is steampunk. Um, so <laughs> I'm actually getting this video to a little late because I never got my box and I contacted Athena and was like, was I supposed to get a shipping notification? Cause I started thinking maybe somebody stole it off of my porch and she was like, oh, I'm gonna have Katie look it up. And then Katie looked it up and goes, for some reason, I never sent one to Mary. So they had to put a box together for me and uh, it just arrived. Um, so I'm really excited. Uh, I really like the steampunk aesthetic and I'm, I don't know, I don't know what stitchy stuff there could be. So I'm really excited to see what that might all be. Um, Okay, so the first thing is, it says happy hour stitching with two martini stitcher. Um, okay, so it's steampunk, steampunk stitching. Um, let's see. Oh, and because I didn't mention it before, I am a rep for the Black Needle Society, so they did give me this box. Um, and I'm opening it and telling you what I think. Um, so this is like their little spoiler card. I love the hat. Um, and then the back has the photo challenge and pictures from last time. CC is another rep and those finger like chopsticks so that you don't get your stitching dirty are seriously genius and have really come in handy. Um, on the inside, I don't want to look too much. Um, but ooh, there is a Christmas in July retreat in a box. I might. That looks exciting. Um, although I wonder if this is part of the subscription. I'm not sure. I think so. Well, then maybe I wouldn't be getting it, but. The other side of this is all the items and I don't want to spoil that. So let's get into it. What is the first thing I see? I'm really intrigued by this. What is this? Whoa. A wheel organizer. I don't know what this is. Is it for pencils? Okay. That's what it looks like. Is it for pencils? Um, okay, clockwork wheel organizer. Add some steampunk to your stitching area. This wheel organizer is meant to hold pens and pencils, but we're going to um, we are going to be using it to store our stitching scissors. Ooh, I like that idea. Oh, this is exciting. I like this. I loved these as a kid, where like the wooden things that you would put together. Um, I'll have to decide whether I want to use it for pens and pencils or see if my scissors will fit in this. Okay. All right. The next thing, oh, we got some magnetic things sticking together. Um, as always, this is the packaging for the needle minder. I love the needle minders. They are always so fun and cute. So, okay. <laughs> All right. This is so cute. Okay. It says the League of Extraordinary Stitchers. Let's see if I can get you to focus on that. Um, okay. Steampunk Heart Needle Minder, designed by the Black Needle Society. Okay, well now, okay, there we go. Uh, what do you do as a what you do as a stitcher is extraordinary. Let everyone know you are a proud member of the League of Extraordinary Stitchers. 
I love this. It is so cute. I love like the whole gear thing. Um, reminds me of the Game of Thrones intro, which obviously steampunk came before the Game of Thrones intro. But um, if you if you watch Game of Thrones, like you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, and I like that's what I think of when I see that. Okay, we've got a little black bag. Looks like it's a floss ring. Ooh, it's a blimp. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It is a blimp. Um, it's a dirigible. Actually, I knew that word because of Kiki's Delivery Service, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, so it's a dir dirigible thread jewelry. We couldn't resist including this little piece of thread jewelry inspired by Katie and Laura's favorite steampunk book series, The Finishing School Series by Gail Carriger. The girls attend a school for espionage in a dirigible much like this charm. Oh, that sounds like a fun series. I think I'm gonna have to look that up. That sounds exciting. This is cute. I can't wait to use that. And then, if I'm thinking what I'm thinking, yes, these are floss cards. And they're pre, um, they have the holes already in them, which is nice. Which, steampunk floss card set, artwork by Luis de Rolt. Inventors are notoriously disorganized. Use this thread card set to keep your threads from getting lost among your tools. Love that. So you can put these on there. I'm really enjoying this box so far. <laughs> um, oh, this is totally going to come in handy. Um, okay, this is a fabric measurement card. Each of these four. So this is 14 and 28 count, 16, 32, 18, 36, and 20, 40. Um, yes, please. Thank you very much. Um, topography by heritage type. Did you lose the information tag for that piece of fabric you've been eyeing for your next stitch? Not to worry, we've included the super handy measurement card. Lay it on top of your fabric and find which set of lines meet up with the holes in your fabric to determine the fabric count. Honestly, genius. Don't know why I didn't have one of these before. I don't even know if this is such a thing that you could like buy, but I love it because there are so many times where I have fabrics, I don't have the card, maybe I dyed it myself and I can't remember what it was. This will totally come in handy. Okay, let's see, what's next? Um, ooh, notebook set. I love notebooks. I, does anybody else just like have a stash of notebooks, like blank notebooks that you just never knew, use and you say, I will use it for like on a special occasion and that special occasion never comes? Yeah, me either. Um, <laughs> okay, so we got two notebooks. Uh, contra, wait, contravene, contra, contravances, contravances, inventions and contravances. I don't know why that word is. So we got clocks on this one and keys on this one. My best friend is obsessed with keys. She would love this. And they are, oh, oh my favorite. Um, this one has a dot grid, whereas the inventions has graph paper. And before I even look at the spoiler card, I'm guessing this is so you could do your own designs. At least in the inventions one, that's what I'm thinking. Which, if that's the case, I love that. Um, where are we at? Inventors Notebook Duo. It's time to make something wonderful. Time to go to the drawing board or maybe to this notebook duo. The Inventions Notebook has gridded paper inside to help you chart out ideas or customizations for your projects. Uh, the Contravances Notebook includes dotted paper for drawing or taking general notes. That is 
a wonderful thing to include because I feel like um, I, I know of a couple patterns and projects that I have right now where I need to do some modifications and trying to find graph paper or print out like a graph paper is just too cumbersome. And so having something I can keep in my little stitching caddy is going to make things so much easier for me. I love that. That That's probably my favorite thing so far. I really like that. Um, ooh, we got some fabric. Oh, and it's Be Stitch Me, one of my favorites. Um, so it's called Gunmetal and it's a 32 count linen. That's what it looks like before I open it. You're gonna hear some crinkling. Oh, I, oh, I love this. Look at that color. And I feel like that's a really good representation on the camera. I think maybe it's just in person, just it has a tad more blue to it. And is it? this looks really dark gray, but I think it looks more of like a dark grayish blue. But I love this fabric. This is so pretty. And I mean, let's be real. I love Brandy and Brandy's fabrics. Like I, I think most of my fabric stash and whips are on Be Stitch Me fabrics. Now that I think about it. Like most of my whips are Be Stitch Me and most of my stash is now Fiberlicious. So if that tells you anything about who I like. Um, okay, exclusive gunmetal fabric made by Be Stitch Me. Gunmetal is a special material used to make clockwork gears and machine parts. What a perfect inspiration for the material for your next cross-stitch project. Oh, oh, this looks cool. I'm excited about this. This looks like a pouch. Um, yes. This is giving me like Main Street USA at Disneyland vibes. Anybody else feel that? Anybody else? Is that just me? Um, so it says the Black Needle Society presents Steam Stitcher. If you can dream it, you can steam it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and like on the center part, it fits the same on both sides. On the center part, it says Black Needle Society Steam Stitcher. Um, this says color mixing area. This is really cool. You know what? Looking at this, I think this is the same guy who did the floss tags in Frogwarts year two. Um, what was his name? And I loved it. And I now follow him on Instagram because of that Frogwarts box and item. I want to say his name is, is Tim something. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be really bummed. But I think it's... Oh, no. It's design... Oh, wait. No, no. Oh, yeah. I was right. I was right. It's Tim Breen. Okay. So we asked him to invent an automatic needle threading machine for this handy accessory pouch. Much like inventors, stitchers should always have a set of tools handy. Use this pouch to keep a set of your stitching tools close by. So excited. I love his art. Seriously, go follow him on Instagram. His art is fantastic. Um, it's super modern, but... And in like normally it's not my style of like art that I like, but I love the floss tags from Frogwarts Year Two, and the um, in the Christmas advent box he did a project bag that was Polar Express, and now this. Oh, I'm so so excited about this. I'm also super excited that I recognize that without even reading the spoiler card. Um, having a fangirl moment here. Okay. I love this pattern. Oh my gosh. Okay. Summer house stitch works. Look at that. Look at that B-skep. Mm. 
Mm. It's called Superior Bees, Professor Hiveman's Clockwork Pollinations. Oh my gosh. And it's keys. Like in the first Harry Potter. The key, like with the wings. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this. This is so cool. Um, okay, where are we going? All right, so we asked Beth to design this month's pattern after coming across her postcard series with similar steampunk vibes. We think she outdid herself. A note from Beth. French knots called for in the pattern can be replaced with beads if you prefer. Where are the French knots? I'm curious. Um, Maybe in the little bees or the clock, maybe there. I love this pattern and I am, I, I am going to make a point to stitch it this year because this is so, oh yeah, French knots in clock numbers, frame corners and hive rivets. Oh, wow, that's a lot of French knots. Ooh. I, I am going to make a point to stitch this this year because this, I'm a, I love this. I love this. And my, like, home decor that is not seasonal is bee-themed. So this will fit right in. Love that, love that. Okay, last thing. Make sure this is everything. Yeah, okay, so this is the last thing. Specialty floss. <gasps> I just read the name of who it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, 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 as I drop everything. Um, oh, my favorite. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for some little nuggies? <laughs> okay, if you guys know, there's only one person who does her floss like this. Almond M&M's, Ymir. Oh, I love these colors. <gasps> one of them's named Sherlock. Okay, so this orange one's name is Hugo. Mm, I'm gonna guess that's inspired by Oh, it's a book series. It'll come to me after, I am sure. Hugo. This one is Sherlock. It's like a blue. It's got some light blue, dark blue, and a little bit of lavender in there. Doesn't really look like it, but trust me, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> this one is gears it's so pretty and this one i can't read this one nautilus nautilus i think that's what that's that is super pretty ymir does silks so these are silks she doesn't do regular cotton um so it says these Gorgeous silks were dyed exclusively for our March, March subscription. Um, it reminds us of the gorgeous silk gowns of the Victorian era. I love these. I love Ymir's silks. If you want to try some silks, go check out her website. Um, I have... A lot of her silks I have her skin collection I have some of like her regular colors um, I love them and they're so soft and these little nuggets like how can you resist the cuteness of the little nuggets like you can't you really can't um, I'm obsessed and I am also just because of the name obsessed with Sherlock this one because Sherlock is one of my favorite one of my favorites obsessed um, okay, so that's everything in this box. We got our silks. We got our needle minder. We got our gorgeous pattern. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm obsessed. We have our fabric. 
our Tim pouch, our notebooks, uh, floss cards, and floss jewelry, thread jewelry, floss jewelry, I don't know what I'm going to say. Um, the fabric measure and the wheel organizer. I really liked this box. Um, I'm like, I'm so, so excited for this pattern. I'm so excited for the Tim pouch, the notebooks, the fabric measure. I always love getting floss cards and thread jewelry and almond m and m silks chef's kiss ymir chef's kiss i'm obsessed this is i mean i don't know if i've ever gotten a box where i was like not impressed but this is one of my favorites and i wasn't even sure like going into this what to expect but i'm obsessed with this box so I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite item from this box was. And um, I believe if tradition holds true, um, the vault on the Black Needle Society website will get the leftover items from this box um, April 1st. It usually goes up on the first of the month. Um, and they send out an email usually with the details of that. Um, remember, you can now use my code ASHCRAFT5 at checkout for the vault as well. Um, and you'll get a 5% discount. And, um, and then you can also use my code ASHCRAFT5 if you are signing up for a month to month subscription. Um, my code does not work for any of the um like packages where you can subscribe for more than a month um so i think it's a three and a six month option it's just the month to month so if you do make an order don't forget to use my code so you can get some moolah off or anybody else's code any of the other reps they're all great people um not that we get anything from it <laughs> just just use a code so you get some money off that's all i'm saying um, and I hope you guys have a good day. I'm going to go have some ice cream and watch season two of Bridgerton again. <laughs> Bye guys.